Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today we are reacting to Season 1, Episode 10 of the Ricky Gervais Show. And this one is called The Fight. So this might get tasty guys. I don't know who's fighting. I don't know what the fight's about. So yeah, it's going to be interesting for everyone involved, me and you watching this together. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this. If you guys like what you see, make sure to like, subscribe and let's get into the video. Here we go guys. So... The Fight, HBO Entertainment. Looking forward to this one, guys, as per usual. So, he's got a very interesting title, The Fight. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Years, we'll just have Ricky to see what happens, guys. Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. And they That's always are pointless. Is that right? Hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. Hello. And the little round headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I'm just thinking the fight is probably between two monkeys. Of course, isn't I have lots of questions for Carl as well, just to sort of try and tap into his brain, see what's going on there. Question from uh, Jade Carl, what would you change if you were in charge of what kids are taught in school? Right, That's you know, a good question. I mean, your school experience was a bit if you got very bored, didn't you? You got very disillusioned by school. Yeah. What I'd do, right, is uh, instead of keep sort of teaching kids about two and two and that, which is four. Right? <laughs> well done. Um, Show off. <laughs> um, I think you should be asked more questions that make them think rather than something that has just got an answer. I totally agree. I totally agree. Right. So yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, so teaching them the the the, the quest for knowledge, uh, inflaming their imagination. But just freaking them out a bit as well. Just going. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's where it was going. Because yeah. as soon as you started talking, Rick, I was thinking you're thinking some of the big existential or philosophical questions. You yeah. Know, what does it mean to be human? What does it mean to interact with other exactly. humans? Exactly. To be a human. Or, or teaching them sort of like philosophy on a basic level that you know teaching them the love for learning. So yeah. you know get them back to a roots level so they want to learn and then they will learn as opposed to just teaching them facts. Whereas he, he was sounds thinking, good to me. Freak him out a bit. <laughs> yeah. No, just like you know, like I read the other day, um, and someone sent it in on email, like how there's a, a, a dishwasher that's been found on Mars. Rubbish. Woo, what right? that's not true. So, so tell them that. But it's not true. Go home and write about it. How did that happen? But it didn't happen. The, well it did happen. It was in a science magazine. It no, could it not happen. happen. There is no reason it would be up why not? there. Because how, mean, why not? Why did it how did it get there? But we're always sending like rubbish out there and that. It's like not a dishwasher. No, no, what you no. Think? <laughs> so take it away and they go. Where can we put it? Well, the uh, the tips fall. Where's, uh, where's the nearest thing we can dump this? Mars, I imagine. No, but the same way that fella who it's I don't tied know, to a balloon years ago when he was messing about saying I can get stuff to Mars and all that. Um, he did it wrong because he did it on like Boxing Day, and I just think nobody's concentrating. No one wants to work on that day. It's kind of like, do you know what I mean? They're going to do stuff sort of half assed aren't they? Sure. On Boxing yes. Day. So. It didn't really get there, I don't think, but it crash landed. What right? are you talking about? What was he trying to do? He was sending something up to Mars. Yeah, that little, that little fella that wanted to get something on Mars and it, it, it got. You mean? And it didn't open properly. Yeah. It got there, didn't it? But, but the thing is, it got there, it didn't open properly. No one's been back to pick it up. And what I'm saying yeah. is, we're saying about going to Mars as our next planet. It's a tip. There's loads of stuff that's been no. floated up there. No, it's not. <laughs> now, I have heard there, there is a lot of like junk in space. space. Rotting away. Yeah. But a so, dishwasher. Ipso facto, there is nah. a dishwasher on Mars. We've yeah. settled that. Why would they have a dishwasher on Mars? Would they take the dishwasher up to the space shuttle in case they had dinner parties? What are you talking about? <laughs> I just think they would have a little dishwasher in there. There's a lot of them. Tight space. You don't want to... But who's going to do that? You know, that means... Do you know how much fuel it takes to move a kilogram? Yeah. Out of the Earth's atmosphere? So they're going to take up a dishwasher, are they? Sorry, but what are they cooking up there, Carl? How many people does it take to fly a rocket? I... How many people? <laughs> Tell me how many people. Uh, well, it's either one monkey... <laughs> with uh, banana shoes. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good right. one. Say it's three humans. Yeah. Now, there's three humans because they need one to steer it. So one, to, one... one to stop at the petrol station no, to get what, more. Yeah. What I'm saying is, if you're going to start having a sink, then whoever's they washing They haven't got up, a sink. I know, because they've got a dishwasher. <laughs> He's got you there. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to go into that, but all I'm saying is teach kids things about... Say to them, right, when you go home tonight, it was dinosaurs nothing about ages ago. How would you have lived with them? Get on with it. See you later. <laughs> well, they didn't. I've told you this before. I did love Carl as a teacher. Like Even if it is rubbish, he would have years BC made me very... He'd make me think. dinosaurs knocking around where there were little fellas knocking around in furry pants. No, no, but just sort of saying to him, all right, then, here's a different question. Go on, then. Would it be better um, 
to have dinosaurs knocking about now whilst we're here. Because I, I put that in my diary the other day, like, that <laughs> when you think about it, there's a population problem. Yeah. There's too many of us. Yeah. We say oh my God. The time. No one's allowed to get injured anymore. You've got to you know, wear a helmet when you're on a bike. Yeah. There's speed bumps to slow people down. Zebra crossing, cures for illnesses. No one's dying anymore, right? Well, I think they are. Not, not as many as they should be, because yeah, the world's think, crowded. All I'm saying I is... I think there's still people dying. I think, I think there's still people dying. Not that many, though. Yeah, I think there's still handful, millions of people handful, dying. Apparently, a handful. Loads, yeah. loads of people are living longer, and yeah. that's, that's a problem. So, so you feel that you should introduce Tyrannosaurus Rex into, say, around, London, around. just have them wandering around, just picking people off? That's what... Just, just you know, just sort of random and that, because I, I don't know... I mean, I'm not wishing that anyone I know dies and that, but all I'm saying is I don't know anyone who's died for ages. Right. Whereas if a dinosaur was knocking about, you'd go, and oh, Neil, yeah. Neil's gone missing. <laughs> and Neil's, Neil's gone missing. Big dinosaur. Whatever. I just think then it is survival of the fittest, which yeah. is we've lost all that now. You don't even have to be fit. Yes, and the fittest one would be the dinosaur. <laughs> oh, Carl, mate, come on. Do you know what I mean? They, 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 can, they can do too much now to keep people going. They just keep sticking a new lung on you. Question from Kevin. He says, Carl, other than the famous boxing match that you've often talked about, I know that took um, up about 20 minutes of your time, have you ever been in any other kind of fight? Uh, I don't Here we go, the match. title. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Um, once that I can remember. It was over a, over a woman. Well, <laughs> a girl. I was at school. Yeah. Um, and it was because, like, it's hassle, isn't it? Right? Relationships when you're younger. How you're old were you? Um, about seven. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> go on then. Yeah, go on. And there was this girl knocking about who, you know, she was, she was quite good looking, everybody liked. And uh, my mate, he really liked her. And uh, I, I didn't sort of ask her out on that, but she just sort of took a shine to me and stuff. Right? And uh, didn't really go out with her properly. It's at, at that age where going out with someone is just like sort of going, all right, in the morning, do you know what I mean? You just sort of <laughs> nod your head right. and that. Anyway, there was some sort Love of school that. disco and um, they were playing Spin the Bottle or something. Right. right. And uh, I sort of wandered over to see what was going on and I stood on this girl's dress and put a hole in it and she started crying. I was like, oh, I can't be doing with this. <laughs> you know, what's up with you? It's a hole, what's up with you? And everyone's going, Carl, what are you doing? That's meant to be your girlfriend and that. You should be sort of saying, oh, I'm sorry, and giving her a hug and all that, and saying, it'll be all right, we'll sort the dress out. I said, oh, I can't be dealing with this. No. Right. So she's crying her eyes out. I said, it's over. Right? <laughs> he, he breaks her dress. Oh, it's over, you're saying. Right. In the morning. <laughs> yeah. No more of that. Yeah, there's no more. Right. In the morning. So I go to the toilet, right? And uh, this right. lad who fancies her comes in and goes, you're out of order. You know? Oh. I'm saying, what are you on about? So you're, there's two seven-year-olds. Seven yeah. You're out of order. Keep out. <laughs> <laughs> Show her a bit of bloody respect. <laughs> Sorry, were you wearing trilbies? Yeah. <laughs> he put his cigarette out in the sink, and he just. To said, be honest, I can't imagine the seven-year-old yeah, can't do it. Face. <laughs> oh. I just thought I said, look, why are you getting involved? And all that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you getting involved? <laughs> and, uh, and, it, and it was obviously like because you know he he fancied her and that we yeah. had a bit of a fight in there. Yeah. Um, I I accidentally you know sort of chipped his tooth on a sink. Oh, is it like a proper... Sorry, this is like someone from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Two seven-year-olds in a toilet. Just, uh, so I'm... you put you put a hole in her dress. I don't know how that. What were you wearing? Football boots. Just... <laughs> 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 Did you make a hole in her dress? I don't know. It was like that, that sort of material. You were like, wearing winkle pickers. Like <laughs> crepe. You know what I mean? It was like a crepe dress or something. Yeah. Right. And that so... got a hole in it. But, so, so you're having a, and when you say you're having a fight, I mean, are you wrestling with it? You got head, sort of arm locks a, a and head bit locks? Of wrestling and sho shoving about and that. And it was an accident. I didn't sort of go right. I'm going to break your teeth or anything. It's just yeah. that I happened to push his head down, and and his tooth hit the sink, mm. right? And it chipped. And yeah. like, after that, like I, I sort of left there and stuff, and we had to go into assembly, uh, and there was a copper in there doing some presentation, saying, oh. "Listen, kids, you know, don't get into trouble, because we're out there and we'll get you." Right, so sort of try to teach the kids young, not to get into any trouble and stuff. So I'm sat in the assembly room, thinking, oh god, there's a copper here talking, and it, like my mate's going to come in in a minute, like with a chipped tooth and everything. And, and questions are going to get asked. That's what kind of happened. I mean, the, the coppers didn't get involved. Yeah. But did you turn your back on violence after that? Then? Yeah. Uh, well, well, he, he said you'll never take me alive, copper. Brilliant. 
some of the questions coming in now, Rick, are just, I don't know what they're intending, what, what response they're hoping for, really. This is one from Rob. He just says, I was just wondering, what are Carl's views on the human appendix? What do you think, Carl? What do you think of the human appendix? Never worried about it. Rob. Well, no, I think Rob's point is that it's sort of pretty uh, redundant now. So, th this is kind of what we've talked about before, where... He always says that. He always says something like, oh, we've talked about it as well. And, and the thing that he's talked about is nothing like it. <laughs> what I mean is, we've, we've obviously interfered somewhere along the way. And, well, and we, well, we have, have interfered, yeah. yeah. we shouldn't have done. Because it's, mm. it's the same way, like, uh, if, we, you know, if we didn't have planes and that, would we have wings now? If we'd have no. needed to get about, <laughs> no. would we have had wings? I doubt no, it. The answer's no. I doubt no. it, but I do no, get his but, point. But you say that, but look at the way... Because he's right, is it? Because he's right. No, but all I'm saying is you see that little picture of, like, an ape to man. Yeah. At first, they're crawling about on all fours because probably yeah. you're looking for food, so you want to be down there. So right. if, you, if you're on both legs, yeah. you're missing stuff that's on the floor. What sort of time period do you think this... Because, I mean, we started, uh, you know, dabbling with a plane maybe 100 years ago. So what sort of time period do you think this little thing who's scrabbling around looking for food I stood up and I walked? don't know. I, I sort of don't worry about time. Sort right. Of behind, well, I'll tell you now, we wouldn't room. have wings now. If the Wright brothers had said, oh, forget it, we wouldn't have wings now. What would happen? Right, here's, here's another question. This is one that I chuck out to kids as well. We were talking about education. Here we go. Stuff. Sure. What would happen, right? Uh, we ruin this world, right? Goes wrong and that, right? They shut it down. They go, we're moving. We go to another planet. It's as simple as that yeah. in his world. It's as simple as that. We can't go to uh, Mars because it's full of stuff that used to be in Dixon's. So <laughs> it's for the dishwasher, yeah, isn't it? Right so we can't go there. We go somewhere else. Something that I've always wondered about if we do that. Do we start New Year's or do we carry on? What do you know what I mean? Do we say, oh, it's still too Ooh, hard to That's an interesting point because time else? would move there a lot differently in space. First priority, yeah. It's year one. Right, we've sorted that out. Right, now. Well, it depends, doesn't it? Because a year might not be the same on this planet. No, exactly. We'd sort that out. Right, we'd sort out what, what year it is and that. Well, no, no, no. Um, no what I'm saying is we, we'd have to start again anyway because the planet might not take one year as we know it to to go around the sun, it might not take a day to turn. A day is, is a day because that's how long it takes. Yeah, but it. we'd have to carry on, as we know, because we don't want to start doing longer days and that, otherwise it'll just kick off and say, this is rubbish, this new world, what are you doing? We wouldn't have a choice. A day is how long it takes no, the planet to, but to, a day's, to turn, a day's, and a year is how long it takes that planet to go around no, the but, sun but once. a day is man-made, really. There's places in the world no, where it's not. in the dark. It's just in not. Iceland and that. But they don't go... Well, it's dark all the time, so I'll stay in bed. Well, no, but there's still a day. It's still 24 hours in a day in Iceland. Yeah, but that's we only work by that clock because that's what people use at the moment when they go, what time is it? You go, oh, it's 20 past No, 11. no, no. We use that that because that's how long it takes the planet we're this on. This is a very to, interesting to, to, debate. I, I've never worried about it like that. I've just always... Well, no, I'm telling you... Well, that's because you weren't asked to get involved when they came up with the idea. I'm telling you, just, that's what a day is. It's yeah. how long it takes your planet to... to yeah. What would you mean? The way that... What, no, I'm, I'm just saying that's fine and everything. But if when I was born, people said there's 26 hours in a day, I'd go, fair enough. I'm not going to argue. I'm well, not yeah, gonna, we could have made up how long an hour is. Yeah, we could have made hours this, shorter and get 26 Well, in. they're saying they're going to do that. Because, well, no, because, they're not. No, they are, because no, there's so not. many people in the world. Yeah. This is what I was talking about before. They've got to create more jobs. The only way to have more jobs, keep shops open, take on more people, everyone's happy. That makes no sense at all. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 it just, it just doesn't. Yeah, it's it just 24 doesn't. hours long as we used to know it. No, you'd have you'd have like oh what time is it oh it's it's like twenty past uh, twenty five or whatever. <laughs> well, you're, you're not having any sense at all. No, I'm just saying the <laughs> Earth would still take twenty four hours as we know it now. It, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. I want uh, there's more interesting territory here. Don't forget our sleep patterns have evolved on a day. The reason we sort of like go to sleep at night and have about. Eight to an hour sleep is because that's our evolution. No, but that's only yeah. That's just because what that's what we've got used to, isn't it? Yeah. You look at that is slope, true. That's it's what we've got used to. It's doing yeah, what it, wants. it evolved differently, didn't it? Right, you can't get away. <laughs> You're not getting away with this anymore. You want to live now? Join in with us. <laughs> that was interesting. Well, it's that time again. Uh, it's the feature that the world is saying could rival Mars. Cole's diary. Well. Here we Ready? go. Oh, what's he written today? Lovely. Here we go, guys. The best bit. What, well, Carl's diary? You didn't yeah. explain what it was. Sunday, got up. Sunny day, so went for a walk in the park. There was a bloke walking down the street who was whistling uh, some kind of annoying tune. He seemed quite happy with himself. Do people only whistle when they're happy? I don't whistle very much. It's a good point. Uh, whistling is so inane to me. But, yeah, 
it's all like going, I'm, I'm, I'm content, I'm... Uh, it, it really is that thing that if they go, uh, you go, well, um, Mr. Mellows, I'm afraid uh, I've got some bad news. Not only has your wife died, but you've lost the house. Thanks, Doctor. Won't happen. No, <laughs> you don't whistle bit, yeah. when you're sad. The other place you hear, it, of course, is uh, changing rooms. And that's men going, I'm whistling, so I'm not looking at your cock. <laughs> How could I be? I'm concentrating on whistling. <laughs> the lake was frozen over where I was walking. The ducks looked worried. <laughs> oh. They were sat on the edge of the lake waiting for it to melt. Where are they, Carl? Yeah, they were sat there looking, sort of going, oh, what's going on? <laughs> how, how long is a duck's memory? Because I wondered whether they're going, this doesn't seem right, but I don't know why. I asked Suzanne, why ducks don't use their wings much? They seem to walk and swim more and don't bother using their wings. Suzanne said she had to call her mum and dad, so I never got an answer. <laughs> the old excuse! Yeah, yeah. Suzanne, oh, I can't talk now, Carl. Um, got to phone my... Yeah, just got to call mom. my parents, Carl. Keep that, keep that for. There's run going on in the park. It reminded me of the time when we were moving flat. It was the day of the London Marathon. Me and Suzanne were walking down the middle of the road, taking some stuff to our new flat. I was carrying a lamp and a kitchen bin. People were clapping me, thinking I was doing some kind of fun. Like. <laughs> I don't believe him. <laughs> Why were you walking on the same route? Because I, well, it was when we lived on the Docklands. Oh, and, uh, brilliant. There was, there was no other route. The flat was just about 100 oh. yards down the road. They're going, look at the bloke with the bald wig. He's <laughs> yeah. carrying a lamp and a bin. Took a bag of old clothes to Oxfam. It was just old T-shirts and a couple of jumpers with holes in it. I don't think anyone will buy them, but the Oxfam is closer to the flat than the wheelie bin is. <laughs> Unbelievable. On the tube on the way back home, saw an advert for a book about a woman who works in a funeral home. She went into work one day. Uh, she goes to work on a body. She takes the sheet off of one of the bodies, and it looks exactly like her. This is called a doppelganger. The What's thing, a doppelganger to you? It's the thing I read about ages ago where... Um, someone was uh, walking down the street. Yeah, and he sees someone who looked a bit like him. And no, this was weirder than that. Go um, on. Um, he, he he remembers like going down that street as a kid on his bike whistling. Yeah. And then he sort of he's walking down the street, going to get some milk or whatever from the shop. Little bike comes whizzing past. He hears the whistling. He goes, "That's weird." Looks at it. It was him when he was a kid. <laughs> How would he so know? Like How would he what know? What do you mean it was him as a kid? This this is like a different form of doppelganger. It's just um, well, it's impossible. It's rubbish. Some sort of time thing, isn't it? No, no, it's time, that's impossible. So don't worry <laughs> about it. Some kind of time thing, Rick. No, no, no. Yeah, it's just what you read thing. again on the internet, or it was a short story, or something someone told you. Mm. On my walk back from the tube, I saw a jogger who was pushing a pram at the same time. The kid looked terrified. <laughs> 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 Got the science book out. It said that the static you get on the telly when a channel isn't tuned in properly is radiation that is still knocking about from when the Big Bang happened. I thought about the Big Bang and wondered if it was really a Big Bang or did it just sound louder as there was no other noise to drown it out. <laughs> Good point, though, isn't it? Carl's diary, Rick. Never I mean, in theory, the yeah. <laughs> Carl's diary. What a, what a diary. Oh, well, it's that time now. Yeah, it's the big one. Here we oh, go. Chimpanzee, that monkey news! <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was a lot more quiet at this time. This, uh, monkey? This fella, right, who uh, he had a problem with his eyes. Right? Yeah. So uh, he goes to the doctors and he goes, uh, oh, I've got a problem with my eyes. And he goes, yeah, they bad them. Right? <laughs> he goes, uh, it was in America, you know, like how you have to pay for, for medical stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. And the doctor said, oh, if, if I fix them, it's going to be like 10 grand. <laughs> Jesus. He's like, but I haven't got the money, Doctor. He goes, well, I can't help you then. You know, there's a lot of people with bad eyes like them. Can't do anything for you. Mm. So he goes, oh, it's getting worse. Oh, can't do anything. Oh. So anyway, so he goes home. Is that the price of human eyes, is it? So he goes home, he's looking in the paper, right? And he, he sort of sees in the adverts at the back. And uh, there's a little advert there saying cheap doctors, right? <laughs> No, <laughs> oh, no, no. So he's thinking, oh, maybe that's... Let me guess, the doctor's the monkey. Maybe that's what I need. Let me so guess. calls him up woman's there she's like wait what can i do because i've got bad eyes and that she says oh come in tomorrow we'll sort them out she's like brilliant i'll see you then right. so he goes down there and uh he says right you know i, c I can hardly see my eyes have got in really bad state and what have you 
right. need to have them sorted out. I don't know what you do, whatever you do. Right. I need now, doing. his eyes are so bad. Can he see the doctors? He um, not really. He's sort of really squinting. squinting and that. But you know, uh, so he's again. Like, uh, do we you can to, alter to where this is to, going. You know, have a word and tell them what problems. She's like, no, I don't. Don't worry about that. Worry just, about no. uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be comfortable if it's a just, stop. just you know, just let me inject you, and uh, we'll knock mm. you out, and we'll we'll get on with it. Like, well, doctor in. Can I just tell you something about um chimps as well, just before you continue you know they don't have opposable thumbs now why are opposable thumbs useful well to to grip something to do anything like you know even simple uh, stuff like writing, so let alone surgery. So without an but opposable thumb. Can I just thumb, check now? So if I was a doctor and I was doing any form of difficult surgery, would I need opposable thumbs? You'd need opposable thumbs to be and, a doctor. And, and without opposable, you couldn't do anything. You but, couldn't. Thanks it, for clearing that because up. Because because um, uh, the, the opposable thumb allowed something in our evolution called the precision grip. Right. So without that, you couldn't do anything. I'm just glad they've got that cleared up. Thanks. So anyway, so he's had the injection. He's nodding off and what have you. Right? His eyes are sort of closing and that. He hears the door open. He, he sort of just sees this little fella come in and he's like, "Hello, doctor." And he's trying to like <laughs> make a chat with it, sure. but like he's just it. nodding off. Uh, no, I'm just I, never sure. I don't know if you guys seen on the background on the eye chart. It says bananas. Yeah, so I, That's a good touch. Answer, but you know, doctors you see work it. moody. You know, they're highly intelligent. They don't need especially idle, little airy ones. Well, just idle chit chat. There's no room for that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just, yeah, just, just. Yeah, this. Dr. Don't chat, he's, he's very man. straightforward. I want a little bit of idle chimp chat. So anyway, time passes, right? Yeah. Uh, he sort of wakes up and uh, he opens his eyes, right? And uh, it's brilliant, he can't believe it. Eyes are perfect? He's had, he's had, he's had the op, he, he can't believe the sight. He's like, nurse, right? And the nurse comes in, because I can't believe it. This is brilliant. I've never had this such good sight. Do you know what I mean? Even when I was a baby, yeah. and my eyes were new, yeah. I didn't see this good. Great. So she's like, well, you know, that's... that's you realise the nurse is a panda. That's, that's what we do, right? So... Uh, he said, right, so can I just see the doctor and just say thanks and that? She's like, well, to be honest, you know, he's, he's specialised in what he does. Uh, there's a lot of... <laughs> what work. a load of bollocks this is getting. <laughs> Please. Like, where did you get this from? No, come on, let's hear the end of the news. There's, well. a, lot of, there's a lot of, like, operations he's got to do. Yeah. Um, so, you know, leave him to it. He's just having a kid. You know, I'll, I'll let him know that you were grateful. Uh, you know, pays the check. Off you go. Go and enjoy looking at stuff. Yeah. So, uh he says, uh, he said, no, I just, just, what's wrong with that? I just want to see that. Just no, like, no fine. leave it, just leave. Yeah, exactly, like, leave it. And he's like, it's he's like, yeah, but I can't, you know, I, I want to thank him. So he's done such a good thing for me. So they're getting into a bit of an argument and what have you, and it, the voices are raising, right? Mm. Uh, door gonna opens. They're going to wake the doctor up. Well, mm. that's what they did. They woke it up, right? They so, will get uh, it. So the door opens, right? <laughs> Little monkey comes out. Oh. And, and he's like, what's, what's, what's going on here? It's <laughs> hospital. Why is he, why is he a, a monkey knocking about? Yeah. So the woman, woman said, well, what, what do you mean? He's the doctor. Right? <laughs> so, so he's like, you are having a laugh, aren't you? <laughs> You're having a laugh. You, your eyes are sorted, yeah. you know. The doctor's done it. What, what, what's the problem? He said, well, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have come here. She said, well, what do you mean you didn't know that? She said, the advert in the paper you read, it's like chimp doctors. That is the biggest load I've ever heard. Unbelievable. That really is the worst. What, and he, so he, because his eyes were so bad, he thought it said cheap doctors. He saw the advert and, and it said it said chimp doctors, but because his eyes were bad, he just saw it. What as, journal is this in? It was it was years ago, because it sort of says how... The of course, years sort of ago, untraceable. Years. Absolute uh, rubbish. Then just it, to play golf. It's absolute bollocks. It's there's no to... way... There's the worst, I mean, it's not even worth talking about. So. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It's the most ridiculous monkey news you've ever heard, and that's saying something. Chimp, chimp doctors, cheap. It's easy mistake. Absolute rubbish. Now, what do I have to say about this episode, guys? Now, let me just quickly scroll through back to front. So, yeah, Monkey News was clearly rubbish. You could tell from the start what it was leading on to. The Doctor was going to be a monkey. I don't, I don't know why the guy's having such a problem at the end, though. I mean, his eyes are fixed, whether it's a monkey or not. It is besides the point. Uh, Carl's Diary, there was a lot of interesting things in, in Carl's Diary actually. Talking about the guy uh, whistling, yeah, I, I in changing rooms I do get what Ricky meant about you whistle just so you can sort of break the social tension between people. Um, the deja vu thing where he saw himself as a kid riding down the street. I mean, you do have experiences like that but I wouldn't really call that a doppelganger, I'd call it sort of deja vu which is where you sort of get a memory and it, it brings you, you sort of see something which provokes a memory but it's um yeah you know Carl's diary you can't really take uh, take it all too seriously um th this was interesting the bit talking about uh, time on this planet and a different planet so he said if we go to a new planet would we start at year one and in theory you would because you're starting fresh 
and but Ricky said like years would be different between that planet and this planet and so it you would sort of have to change it because it's different because people on earth they've evolved they've adapted to 24 hours passing around the clock day and night if people who have already adapted to that go to a new planet it's going to be a big a big shock to them let me just see what else was in there Carl's fight that was <laughs> that was good I could just imagine a little seven-year-old Carl just being a little a little geezer got his uh, got his coat on got his tie being like why are you getting involved and just <laughs> banging him on that <laughs> no that's really funny and what did it uh, start off with um, I can't yeah stuff on Mars I have heard there's uh, a lot of space junk like probe stuff that's been sent up there like I remember in the Cold War there was a lot of um, threatening to do stuff by space they put satellites up there and stuff and I'm pretty sure a lot of that stuff's still up there but the fact there's a dishwasher up there is just I'm not buying it guys but no this this was one of my favorite episodes I've got like it just had everything in it, it had the monkey news it had Carl's diary it had the fight and it had some other like interesting stuff to make you think I really I really enjoyed this one guys so yeah if you guys enjoyed me reacting to it please like subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video peace